So for this week's command tip, we're going to take a look at running Facebook ads. So once you're signed into your command, go ahead and click on campaigns on the left hand side here. And then we're going to go ahead and click create campaign. And then social ad. Here we'll put the address of the property. And for this goal, we always do have to select a goal for each ad. Obviously, this is a listing, so we'll go ahead and hit advertise listing. And then you'll choose down here where the campaign will run. You do have to ensure that your Facebook, um, Instagram, and Twitter is connected to command before actually going here. So if you have any questions on that, definitely don't hesitate to reach out and let me know. So I just have Facebook set up and Instagram. So we'll go ahead and click create campaign. And it'll pull up your listings first and foremost. Obviously, you want to advertise your own listings, but since I am not an agent, I don't have my own listings. We are just going to pull from a current listing of one of our agents here. And then you'll see the property. We'll go ahead and click select. All right. So as you can see, it will pull information directly from the MLS. Now, one thing to be aware of is that it is limited to 250 characters. So I know sometimes the MLS descriptions can be quite long and wordy. You want to shorten that down, just really hit the key points, uh, key features of the property. Uh, list headline, we'll just do just listed. And here you can add, you know, more description of the property. But what I'd recommend is doing click learn more to see all the details of the property. That way, they'll, it'll prompt them to click to see some more details on that property. We do have to have all these fills or these fields filled out before we can save. So we'll go ahead and click save there. And then we want to configure the media. So it'll pull the first photo that you do have listed on the MLS uh, is your first photo here. You can add more by clicking on this. And then it'll pull the rest of the photos here. And you can choose, uh, you know, a kitchen one looks great. We'll preview and crop. We'll add one more here. And then save image. So for this, guys, I recommend, you know, at least three photos, but no more than five. You want to create interest where you don't give, you give them some information, but not quite enough. So they click on the learn more and then have to fill out a Facebook form. We'll go ahead and click save there. Uh, Facebook and Instagram settings. So, like I said, you do have to make sure you're connected first and foremost. Once you are, you can pull your page directly from here. And I always recommend a Facebook lead generation form. You can set up a landing page for this as well, but the Facebook lead form is a little more convenient. It'll grab information from them when they click on the learn more. It'll ask for email, phone number, and then that way you can actually contact them and get some more information. All right, so that looks good. We'll go ahead and click save there. Oops, I missed something. Oh, and I should mention, we always have to link this to a website too, whether that's a lead generation form or your landing page, because you don't want them just to go to a form to fill that out. You want to actually go to a website to collect their information first, and then it'll take them to a website. So for today's purpose, we'll leave that blank. But anyways, just pull that you know from your website. You can do a search directly on your KW website for the address. Put that link right in here. Lead setting, so I always like to auto tag. So for this one, we'll auto tag it as the address and then I'll put Facebook ad. Create new tag and we can choose any one of these colors here. Go ahead and click save. You can also assign, I should mention, assign to a smart plan here if you have a one already set up. And then lastly, the last piece is your duration and budget. So typically, you know, run it for 10 days. I recommend at least $30 to start out with, but you can really spend as much as you want on that. You'll see your defined reach over here. So for 30 bucks for 10 days, we reach 1.1 million people. So we'll go ahead and click save once that looks good. And then once everything's good, obviously we're missing the link there, but once that all looks good, you go ahead and click publish campaign. And within 24 hours, your Facebook ad campaign will be live. Do you find yourself not having time for tasks just like these? Or maybe you don't even know where to start? Great news is that I'm part of your leverage team here at Keller Williams Integrity Realty. Please don't hesitate to reach out if there's anything at all that I can help out with your marketing needs.